Okay, we will try to find the Frobermine project at uh, GitHub. Enter this address, github.com, and um, then uh, just search for Frobermind if I'm able to, to write that. And I can see the Frobermind project at its origin location, Frobolab, and just enter it here. What I want to do is to make a fork of the project so that I get my own public Git repository at GitHub uh, where I can place my changes to the Frobermine project. And I make a fork by pressing this button. And then um, GitHub starts to, to do its magic by making a copy of the original Frobermind project, but on my own page at Henrik Midibu, uh here. So this is my own copy of the Frobermind project where I can make any changes to. The next step is to get this copy down on my own uh, computer and for that I need to use uh, the SSH uh, address marked over here and then I copy the string which is uh, an identifier of the repository where it is located and how I should log into it. And now I need to to say git clone and then the, the address. And um, if I have set up the correct authorization keys on GitHub, it will just do it like this, where it uh, grabs a clone of the repository and places on it on my computer. If we make a ls, we can see that the Frobermind is a new uh, subdirectory here. We can enter, uh, and then we can see how the history has evolved of, of this project. And now there is a, a lot of different uh, commits here we can see. We can see who's responsible of the commits and uh, what they have changed in this field. But uh, now you got your files on the computer and it's time to make some changes.